Good evening, Alexander. How's it going? Hey, you're having fun with the nice Coca-Cola. Okay. Yeah. That, that's why you, you don't feel the time, right? When you're working a, a lot of energy with the Coca-Cola, with the Coke. Yeah. It's very very good, good, right? Yes. So it's, it's uh, you know, like sometimes uh, the, uh, a Coke, it's very delicious when you are working physically, working very hard, and then you drink a very cold Coca-Cola. It's so refreshing. Refreshing yeah, like, yeah. Ah, so good. And also that will keep you awake, right? So especially yeah. when you work at night, so then you need to drink something like soda or, or coffee so that can keep you awake. Hello, hello, um, Herzen, how you doing? I'm fine, you? I'm okay, thank you for asking. Uh, you look different. Uh, you went to the barbershop, right? You, you, you get yeah. your haircut? Yeah, good. You look younger your today. Cat. Yeah. yeah, you look younger today. Yes, when you uh, when you when you get your hair cut, so then you you look a little bit younger. Yes, great. So we have Miss Mrs. Menes or no he Menes, he Menes on the line. Mm. Mrs. Right? Menes. Mrs. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Jimenez, uh, the the accountant. The accountant. And uh, what about your husband? Is he an accountant too? Yes. Uh, 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 he is an um, auditor. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the same profession is like, for example, a doctor will marry a, a female <laughs> doctor, right? An, an engineer yes. marries another <laughs> engineer, and it's like that, right? Yes. So yes, I, because uh, uh, in my case, uh, I need in 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 the career. <laughs> oh, you you met him at the university. Yeah. Okay, and and which university did you study at? I. Uh, uh, university El Salvador University. Okay, the National University. Okay, and and when mm -hmm. did you uh, did you graduate? Oh my God! <laughs> In two thousand thirteen, uh, fourteen, fifteen, two thousand ten, no. eleven. I don't remember, but uh, two thousand. Seven. Two thousand seven. I don't know. I don't okay. Yeah. Two thousand seven. Okay, in two thousand seven. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. In two thousand. In two thousand, I meet. Uh, I, I I met her, him. Him. Mm -hmm. I met him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. So welcome, Cesar. So uh, now we are we are five, yeah, including me. So then we, we are, you're four. So then we can uh, continue. Uh, le let me ask you, how did you feel the evaluation yesterday? Was it difficult, easy? The evaluation, how was the evaluation? Easy, difficult, or I, challenging? I think easy. Easy, I okay. Saw, so. A regular, okay. Alexander, how was the evaluation? Oh, you didn't do it, right? Difficult. Regular. Regular. <laughs> okay, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, you know, it's all about, you know, do and does and, and the bird to be mm -hmm. and, and the listening, right? And that we needed to yeah. practice. 
Okay, so today... Uh, Peter, I, I... Yes? Um, and, and two, two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the, I don't know, mistake, but uh, repeat the words in two in the, uh, questions. Repeated the word. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the question, uh, uh, it's necessary uh, choice the, the, the answer. But uh, I think in this, in this um, I don't know, um, oration. Um, sentence. Uh, sentence, yes. Uh, I think uh, um, in the answer. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I could see that. But it was, it was, your result was very good. It was great. Yeah, I already saw it. Because uh, automatically when you do the evaluation, uh, I, can, I can check and I can see your results. And I'm gonna share the results like one, one by one. I'm gonna send it like to all of you, yes? And I'm gonna tell you like the feedback, the things that we need to work on. Okay, so welcome again. Uh, and today we're gonna continue with the time, but also we have another topic that we need to reinforce and we're gonna take a look at some vocabulary. And, and, and the topic would be, uh, yeah, you need, we need to finish with the time. Remember what time is it? Uh, it is, and we're gonna talk about the agenda, agendas that we have during the day. But, um, also, we will talk about like this one. There, what, what is there? Alexander, what is there? What is the meaning of there? Uh-huh, what is there? Uh, mm -hmm. There are is uh, how do you say uh, in, in uh huh how, how do you say uh, in English general how do you say I cannot listen very well yes. I cannot listen very well. Yes, can you say that again, please? There. Okay, not a problem. Uh, let, let me ask. Let me. Let me. Let me get help. Like, uh, what is what is the meaning of there? There. Ruth, what is the meaning of there? Uh, it's a. Uh, um... Ahí o esos, I don't know. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like when you, when you say ahí, right? Yes, mm -hmm. cuando uno ahí. dice ahí o sobre ahí, over there, over there. Where is, where is uh, Harrison? Oh, Harrison is over there, right? He's over there. He's over okay. there. Yeah, but today we will see in a different way. Like, for example, when you said there is and there are, right? This is gonna be the topic, but at the end of the class, because right now we're gonna do some activities with the time and also some WH questions that we need to practice. And then uh, we will practice there is and there are. So uh, what is the meaning of there is? Okay, there is ahí, but with the bird to be is different. Different, totally different. So, Roberto, what is the meaning of there is? Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Ahí están. Okay. It has logic. It has logic. Um, Harrison, what is the meaning of there is and there are? Ahí está y ahí están. Okay, all right. Uh, Ruth, is that correct? Uh, 
The meaning is the same, but the use is different because there is a, the use in singular and there are the use in plural. Uh huh. And and what is the meaning? Um. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we will see later like demonstrative pronouns. Well, that that will be a model number two, but in, it's, it's, it's different. We have there is and there are. Yes, in this case, uh, well, you said uh, ahí está o ahí están. It's correct. But, but in this context, it's different. El there is y el there are. It's like when we say in Spanish like this, I. Okay? And we, we say here, I. Examples? Let me give you some examples here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos is coming. So we have there is and there are. Yes. So we use basically there is when we talk about singular, right? Only <laughs> one thing. And and we say uh, uh, there are when we talk about plural, plural things. So look the meaning in Spanish, right? The, in the Spanish is I, but there is is for singular. And there are is for plural. Oh. Yes, they, they are totally different. And an example, let me create an example here. Let me see if I can give an example. Uh, let me change the color. Uh, for example, I would say it here. Uh, there is... Uh, here, park. look, there, there is, there is a car in the park. So what am I saying is, it's like, I, I un carro. Hay un carro en el parque, right? So there is is for singular, only one. But then if I say it, uh, uh, plural, so then I would say like, uh, there are, oh. let me see, uh, how many are we right now? Let's say that we are 15. Let me go back to that. So I can say uh, there are 12 students in the class. There are 12 students in the class. Okay, so then I use, I use uh, there are for plural. And I have this, right? Look, the meaning is the same. El significado es igual, pero el, el contexto is different, right? Uh, en la primera yo dije, hay un carro en el parque. Yeah. Eh, en el otro es, hay dos estudiantes en la clase. Right? So it's plural. So when I said there are, it's plural. But this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the class, we're going to talk about there is and there are. Like, for example, uh, if, if you describe, for example, uh, in your house, let me see, uh, Samael. Can you describe your room? Yes. What do you have? What do you have in your room? For example, if you ask me, um, uh, uh huh, in your the, room, uh huh, there is a TV on the table. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you need to describe all of your room, right? There is or there are. For example, like you can describe like your company. Uh, you can describe uh, uh, your house. Like for example, in Iron Man, um, is there a cafeteria? Is there a cafeteria at Iron Man? Is there a cafeteria? Yes or no? Uh, yes. No, no cafeterias at Iron Man? There. There, yeah. are, there are, yeah. there are, there are, yes, yes. There are. yes, there are, right? So probably one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what about, for example, ATMs? Are there ATMs inside the company? ATMs, like 
ATMs. ATMs. Yes. Cajeros automáticos. Mm. Are there ATMs inside Iron there, Man? There are. There are. Yes. There are. There are. There there are, are, four, there are. Four, four ATMs. Four, four mm -hmm. ATMs. See? We describe. Uh, let me see. Um, is there, uh, let me see, uh, is there like a, a gym, Iron Man? Is there a gym? There is. There is one gym. No, hay... no. There is one. There is one. No, there is is there... Circles don't use. Okay, people don't use it, right? Okay, uh, yeah. what about, for example, let me see, um, Rover, in, in your community, you said that you are from, where are you from? Robert, where are you from? Where are you from? San Juan Tepesonte o Locuilta? No, where, where are you from? Roberto? Oh, San, Santiago Nonoalco, sí. Okay, Santiago Nonoalco. I was kind of close, right? Okay, in Santiago Nonoalco, uh, is there a Central Park? A park? Yes. Is, is there a park? Uh-huh. There is. Yes, yes there, there is. is a one. There, there is a park. Okay, maybe. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, is, is there, a, let me see, a college? Is there a college in your place? College. A school and college. Is there a college in Santiago Nolalco? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Or no, there aren't. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, I would say that, for example, uh, Walter, is there a pupuseria in your house, near your house? Yes, there is. Okay, right. So we describe things. Uh, I would say, for example, let me see. Uh, uh, Claudia. Claudia, can you listen? Claudia, well, she left. Okay, that will be, there is and there are. That will be the topic later. But right now, we're, we're going to continue with the time. And we're going to work on your, uh, on your book, page number 33. 33. 33. 33. Yeah, I, I was spending with Oscar with this book. Okay, so we have, we're going to practice like, for example, it says, Miss, Mrs. Robles agenda, agenda. So we have an agenda here. Okay, so, uh, for example, when you talk about the time, uh, let me see, uh, let me get one of you, Harrison, uh, 7.15, okay, at 7.15, uh huh. Meeting with the marketing department. The at, marketing yeah. department. Yeah, marketing marketing <coughs> department. At seven, remember at seven fifteen. At at seven at seven fifteen. Uh -huh. Meeting with, with the mar marketing department. department. Yes, correct. So department. that is the agenda. The agenda. Next, um, Liliana at eight thirty. Liliana? Video call with the supervisor. Video call yes. with the supervisor from West Company. Exactly, right? And uh, let me see, Ruth at nine. Can you give me the, the agenda? Okay. Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Process, correct, good. Dennis, Mr. Bukiri, at, at, at noon. At noon? Word, workshop lunch. Yeah, a workshop lunch, yes, correct. Uh, next, I will say, for example, let me see, Alexander, at 1.45, Uh -huh. Alexander at one forty-five. At one forty-five, the second part of 
Yeah, second part of the workshop. And, and Carlos, next at 5.55. Carlos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. At, at 555. <clears throat> and five. Uh, mm -hmm. See. Send. Send tomorrow. Send tomorrow. Uh -huh. send, 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 send tomorrow. Send, 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 send tomorrow. Send it's, it's schedule. 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 Remember okay. that I explained you that uh, you use the 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 apostrophe s when means possession. Possession. Possession is like like, like this. Uh, you don't say uh, you don't say uh, the, the the car of Walter. The car. Yeah. The car of Walter. Is this correct? In Spanish, yes. Right. In Spanish, we say el carro de Walter. In Spanish, but in English, it's different. So we said eh, Walter apostrophe yeah. S. Este apostrophe y esta S se denomina posición de. Posición de. So then we say Walter's car. Walter's car. El carro de Walter. No pueden, it's, 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 it's not correct to say the car of Walter. It's Walter's car. Okay. Um, For example, I, I can I like say it. Uh, uh, the, the girlfriend of uh, Robert. Okay. In Spanish, is la novia de Roberto, but it's incorrect. Don't say it like that. So we said, Robert, Robert, apostrophe, Robert. apostrophe, Robert's girlfriend. All right, Robert's girl, girlfriend. Yes, it's like that. So, esto significa posición de. For example, if I said, uh, let me see, um, uh, the job of uh, Alexander, right? Of Alexander. So you can say el trabajo de Alexander in Spanish, but it's not. How would you make this? It's it's Alexander's Alexander's job, right? It's, yeah, Alexander's job. It's Alexander's job. Esto es lo mismo no. que, de, que decir el trabajo de Alexander. Solo que la posición del inglés es diferente. Right? Yes, so yeah. we have Alexander's job. And, uh, okay, normally, normally solo le ponen la apostrofe y la S, que esto denomina posesión de, right? Pero uh, we have some exceptions. Let me give you that. For example, when you have a name, like for example, I can say that uh, the, the book of uh, Carlos, Okay, so it's Carlo or Carlos? Carlos, your name is? Carlos. Carlo or Carlos? Carlos. With S, okay. Yes, when you have, cuando ustedes, sorry, pero cuando tienen un nombre. Carlos. Sí. Solo Carlos. Que, cuando tienen un nombre que termina con S, entonces cambia un poco, all right? Tenemos Carlos. Como ya termina con Carlos. S, solo le pone la apóstrofe, nada más. Solo le pone la apóstrofe y dice Carlos Book. Ya no es necesario ponerle eh, la, otra, no. la otra S, porque si usted le pone la otra S, se escucharía Carlos, 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 Carlos Book. Carlos, Carlos. Book. Entonces, ya, solo sería Carlos Book, right? 
Solo llevaría la apóstrofe. Si sí, el nombre termina con una S. For example, can you give me an, another name with that ends with S? Another name? Another name with S? Another name that ends with S? Oh, for example, we have this one. Santos, right? We have Santo or Sa Santos or oh, Luis, exactly. So Rafael's coming. So Luis, so I can say, for example, uh, the pen of Luis. Okay, in this case, it's not correct. So I say Luis, apostrophe, pen. Luis pen. Luis pen. It's not necessary to have the other S. In this case, no. Porque si le pone la otra S, se escucharía Luis Pen. Luis Pen. No, <laughs> solo necesitamos un sonido Hola. de la S. La Luis Pen, right? La Pero, posición de. Posición de. El resto, no problem. For example, if I said, uh, let me see. Uh, I would say, uh, let me see, uh, Caesar. If I, if I said, for example, uh, uh, the motorcycle of Samael. Caesar, the motorcycle, or, or let me give another example. The cell phone of Samael. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, Caesar, tell me, Caesar. Okay, the the. Go ahead. The, yeah, yeah. The cell phone of Samael. Yeah, Samael, uh, cell phone. But remember the yes, Samael's, Samael's, because else, okay. Samael's Samael's cell phone, yes. Samael's cell phone. phone. Correct. Okay. Yes, Claudia, tell me. Lo que pasa es que me está fallando el inter, no le entendí lo del apóstrofe. La, la apóstrofe. Yo, sabí, yo sé que la apóstrofe es para... para decir que algo es de nuestra propia pero Correcto. en el caso de decir por el ejemplo este que tiene de Carlos y Luis pone el, el, otra vez el solo el amor sí sí porque el, el nombre propio ya termina con el sonido de la s si le si le ponemos otra la s sería se, se extendería y sería Luis Penn Entonces ya no, no necesitamos la otra S, solo la apóstrofe. Si sí, el nombre termina con S. A another example. Let me see. Uh, uh, okay. Can you give me another name with, uh, with S? Uh, let me see. Another one. Uh, uh, okay, this one. Isaías. So I can say, let me see. Uh, the house of Isaías or Isaías. So this is incorrect. Esta es traducción. Si usted pone la casa de Isaías, en español se escucha bien, pero en inglés no. Esta es una traducción, muy mala traducción. No se traduce así. Significa, tomamos el nombre propio. Walter, ¿cuál es el nombre propio acá? Walter. ¿Cuál es el nombre propio acá? Isaías House. Isaías House. Yeah, Isaías House. Is this correct? Isaías House. Is correct? Isaías House. No. Yeah. Yes? Here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 sorry. Es, es la, la F, no. No, teacher, ahí no se le hace todas las cosas. En ese caso, no lleva la S porque ya el nombre termina en S. Isaías House. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no problem. Ajá, pero siempre sonaría así, siempre sonaría Isaías. House, house, yes. But then the rest, so then you can say, for example, uh, you can say, um, Misael's mother, okay? So you can say, uh, oh, another name is Dennis, right? 
So, Dennis headphones. So you cannot say Dennis headphones. No, only Dennis apostrophe, apostrophe, and then headphones. So that is uh, the, the possessive, right? So let me go here. So thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So we are here, right? So it says the workshops lunch. Look here, the workshops lunch, and then we have sent tomorrow's schedule. Tomorrow's schedule here is el horario de mañana. Got it? Send tomorrow's tomorrow tomorrow's schedule right el horario de mañana yes tomorrow's horario schedule is schedule schedule horario 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 here is the agenda for Mrs. Robles' agenda. So now the question is, for example, Ruth, what is your agenda for tomorrow? Give me with the time and specify. Okay, um, 7.15, um, uh, beginning my, Beginning the work or initial I, or, or I like, start I start my job. I start yeah I my start job my, my job. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, eight thirty or uh, eight thirty a.m. Uh, prepare. Uh, I have the breakfast. I uh, have with my the family. Breakfast. Yes, correct. Mm. Um, at noon, uh -huh. um, I cook the lunch. Yes. And and two and uh, two <laughs> two p.m. I send the activities uh, the about my work. Yes. Uh, email, check my email or um, no sé, responder. I, send, I answer, answer emails. I answer. Answer, email. answer email. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Yes, that's an example. We're gonna talk in a moment, right? Remember that we're talking about the time. So what time is it? Uh, it's one, Misael, what time is it here? What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? Uh -huh. And the answer? So what time is it? Uh, it's a past one. It's a past one, correct. Good. So then I have another question. Remember, we do and does. So it says, what time does the meeting start? So let me see, um, person, what time uh, does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. Oh yeah, it starts at 11 o'clock. And then we have, for example, here, I would say that, uh, let me see, um, to uh, Raphael, what time do you arrive at work? About 6.48 a.m. A.m. Uh, about 6.48 a.m. Or you can say uh, about 12, 12 to 7 a.m. 12 to 7 or 12 before 7 a.m. Okay. And uh, it says here, uh, let me see. Um, uh, Claudia, what time do employees leave? <laughs> Sorry, what is about? About is al alrededor, alrededor de las siete, alrededor de las cinco. About oh, or around oh, yeah. are similar. Yeah, in this context, about or around, acerca o alrededor. About is acerca de las seis cuarenta y ocho, around is 
alrededor de las siete, right? Yes. So we have like these questions like, uh, what time do you? What time do employees leave? Okay. So uh, let me see, Robert, help me with this. What time do employees leave? Robert? And, uh, usually around uh, seven. Yeah, it's like or, you, usually, usually around seven usually. or seven thirty or seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yes, seven thirty. Uh, I remember seven that five. we remember. I remember that we practice with the time, right? Remember that we practice like what time do you? Se recuerdan? Se recuerdan que practicamos what time do you get up? What time does he, uh, let me see, what time do you go to work? What time do you have lunch? Yes, do you remember? No? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we practice yes. this. Yes. We practice like what time do you, what time does he, what time does she? Yes. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is like, uh, uh, we are gonna work with time. And let me go here. Uh, okay, so, so you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna erase this. We're gonna work about my agenda. my agenda what is your what's your schedule like the question is like this what's your no, no, no. i have a question let me see uh samael read this question yes teacher Yeah, read, read the question. Let, let me see. Uh, here, read the question. What is your schedule like? Yes. So we make a, another contraction and it sounds like like this. What's right? What is is the contraction? What's your schedule like? And what is the meaning of this question? What's your schedule like? It's like, como es tu horario, right? Como es tu horario? Como es tu horario? So what's your schedule like? So for example, you can say it at, um, at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. You can say, I start to work. Okay, good. And then at uh, what? Uh, at eight thirty. At eight thirty, I have a meeting. Let me see. At eight thirty a.m. So I have a meeting. Okay, good. So then uh, you continue and then you can say it at what? At, 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 at 9.30, I have a break. A break, yes, and so on and so on. Remember the time, right? The time and the agenda for one day. For example, wh what do you do in one day? For example, if you ask me, let me see, let me give you my agenda for tomorrow. For tomorrow agenda. Uh, it's for work. What's your schedule like? It's about work only. No, I brush my teeth, I take a shower. No, it's only for work. So you can say, for example, at, at 8 a.m. I start to work. And um, I read a lot of documents and uh, at 10 a.m. I have a break, yes? And uh, I, I send the reports at noon. At noon, I send the reports. 
and uh, at 1 p.m. I have lunch from 1 to 2. And, and then um, uh, at 2 p.m. I return to my work. And then I, uh, I practice and I teach um, at that time. And I, I, have, uh, I have a conference at 4 p.m. And then uh, at 6 p.m. I, I finish. I finish my work at 6 p.m. And um, uh, uh, at, seven, uh, at 6 p.m. I have dinner from 6 to 6.45, I have dinner. And at 7 p.m., I have this class from 7 to 8.30. And then I finish at 8.30. And at 8.30, I have another class from 8.30 to 9.30. So that's my, my schedule for tomorrow. That's my schedule. So what's your schedule like? So the question is, what's your schedule? I remember at 7 a.m. I start to work. At 8.30, I have a meeting. At 9.30, I have a break, maybe, right? At, uh, at 8 a.m., I send the reports. So you need to tell me about your agenda. Your agenda. So, lo que vamos a hacer es que uh, vamos, en ese momento solo vamos a trabajar de manera individual. Le voy a dar un lapso de 5 a 7 minutos para que ustedes crea su agenda para mañana. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es su agenda para mañana? Ok, mañana a las 7 de la mañana I, empiezo a trabajar, luego eh, tengo todas las actividades, right? For tomorrow. Vamos a, tiene que darle a aceptar en los grupos, de esa manera va a ser individual. Van a trabajar individual ahorita por 5 a 7 minutos para crear su agenda, luego uh, regresamos y luego trabajamos en parejas para discutir su agenda. Ok. Yes. Ok. ¿Cuántas actividades me... ponemos, teacher? Hola. ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuántas? A ah, su agenda, todo uh -huh. lo que tiene que ser en el día, su agenda. Las cosas que tiene que dormir, ser. En el dormir, día. dormir, dormir, dormir. Dormir, comer, dormir, comer. No, no solo dormir, y, uh, comer y dormir, no. Su agenda de trabajo. La pregunta es: What's your schedule like? Es cuál es su horario de trabajo. What's your schedule like? So, ¿a qué horas empiezan a trabajar? Todos empiezan de diferente manera, right? So, necesito escuchar el. ¿Y si estoy de vacaciones? Ah, pues su agenda, lo que va a realizar en su casa. Okay, but you need to create. So you're going to have five to seven minutes. Okay, so let me see here. Entonces, sí, se una pregunta. Entonces, lo que se va a realizar en la casa. Sí, pero me tiene que especificar la hora. La hora, right? A las 7 de la mañana me levanto, a las 8 tengo que cocinar, luego, luego, give me all the activities with the time, your agenda for tomorrow, ok? Now we need to accept the invitation, accept the invitation right. and you have 5, 5 to 7 minutes to do it, tiene 5 o 7 minutos para hacerlo, luego regresamos. Ok, everybody, you need to accept, you need to work individually. Okay, everybody, uh, Rafael, Oscar, Liliana, Dennis, Carlos, uh, Walter, you need to accept the invitation. No, no me ha caído nada. No? No. Oscar? Carlos, Rafael, no le ha caído Walter, hola, sí, ahí quiero ver si termino el examen, de hecho que no me ha quedado chance el día, no sé si me da chance, rapidito, no terminar, ok, okay. Tiene, tiene que accesar a Schoology, accesa ya, a ya, ya. Estoy adentro. Ok. 
Rafael, okay, Oscar. Okay, Carlos, uh, you can go to Schoology. Okay, Walter, you can work from there, no problem. Mando. Okay. Sí, yeah, mandé la invitación, no sé por qué no okay. la hay. Yes, you can work from there, no problem. So you have five minutes to do it. All right. Okay, Carlos? Okay. Carlos, uh, let me see. Let me check that information, right? Uh, let me do that. Okay. Seva Schoology. Assign a Schoology. Just give me a moment. Ya ingresó a la, a la parte del, del examen. Carlos. Carlos. Eso voy a hacer ahorita, teacher. Ahorita hago eso. Ok. Ahí le aviso, permítame. Ok. Déjeme ver si ya está cerrado o se lo voy a habilitar ahorita. Ya, teacher, ya entré, teacher. Ok. Dice so, que... Ajá. ¿Qué le dice? Y lo voy a intentar porque dice que ha regresado. Sí. Que Vuelvo dice que ha regresado. Iniciar, iniciar de nuevo, intento. Iniciar de nuevo, por favor, desde cero. Tome su tiempo y luego lo realiza. Vaya, ya estoy adentro. Ok. Para, ya estoy adentro, teacher. Okay. Voy a apagar Ad el micrófono. Adelante. Go ahead.
Yes, Carl, uh, Oscar, did you uh, did you do the your schedule like for tomorrow? Oscar? Uh, in my mind, uh, uh, right now, uh, only in my mind. Okay, no problem. If it is in your mind, it's okay. But you know, what, what I need to listen is the time in your activity. For example, you can say that at, at 10 a.m. I have a meeting with my boss, good? Or for example, let me see, uh, at 1 p.m. I have a training. Okay, I I eat lunch at okay. twelve, right? So you need to give me the my, time and the schedule. My specific. schedule, uh, schedule. My, uh, schedule for tomorrow. Uh -huh. bro. Yes. Schedule. The for schedule. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, now, uh, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, my 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 schedule for tomorrow. Um. At uh, at seven o'clock a.m., uh, I start to work. At at eight a.m., uh, huh? I have a meeting. Uh, okay. uh, at um, at nine a.m. O'clock a.m. I Remember? have a meeting uh, yes. a.m. a.m. Yes. Uh, uh, I I I have a meeting with uh, with uh, uh, partners, uh, uh, vendors. With a local, vendor, for example. Local vendor. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Twelve. Uh, M.D. Uh, I have a lunch uh, at at noon, right? So that will be at noon. I at noon. I at have noon. I have uh, right. So I hope everybody. Uh, I hope everybody made the uh, the schedule. Remember, the question is, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Como es tu horario? So then you specify your agenda. So now I'm going to give you another, uh, uh, now we're going to work in pairs for five minutes and you practice in pairs and then we go back. So now you need to tell your partners about your schedule like for tomorrow. Uh, let me see here now. In the, in the, in the, in the warehouse, it is very hard. The, the work. Really? Yes, well, it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let me see. We are going to uh, work in pairs. But let me see if I can change this. Three, uh, two, two, two. Where, where is Carlos? I'm looking for Carlos. Oh, okay, I think we're okay now. Okay. Good. Now you need to set and you need to work and what's your schedule like and then we need to practice. Walter, now you need to set the invitation and practice in pairs. All right. All right. There it goes. Remember, what's your schedule like? Question is, what's your schedule like? Liliana, Liliana, you need to accept the invitation.
I have a break. Uh, three and a half, I get my tool. Uh, four, 20, leave to take the bus. Uh, at five, water, arrive. To arrive. Focus. I arrive. Arrive. Arrive, yes. Arrive. Arrive, yes. Arrive, arrive. To, house. to my house, yes. Uh, Continue. My. At this, uh, 21. <laughs> Family as. Family. Finish? Yes. yes. You finished? Yes. All your agenda, Misael? Yes. Very hard day. <laughs> Very hard day? Tomorrow? Yes. Yes. You have a lot of agenda. Uh, Misael, uh, Misael uh, uh, really uh, start work today. <laughs> yeah. So today at nine, right? Yeah. Yes. Ouch. Okay. But but anyway, right? You know, <laughs> you you rest during the day? Do you sleep in the day? Um it's more difficult to sleep in, in the day is the temperature is hot. It's hot, it's correct. Yes. It's more difficult and also there's a lot of noise outside, right? Cars, so nice. people, yeah. the sunlight. So yeah, it's more difficult. Okay, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain you your, our next activity. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the uh, this for all, everybody, right? So we have people coming here. So Misael, Ruth, yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, I'll, yes, Teacher, tell me. Is possible, I say, uh, I will be, uh, for example, uh, at 7 a.m., I a will, a will uh, -huh. uh yeah at 7 a.m i will it will be asleep is correct oh yes it's correct i will be sleeping but that is yeah. an another tense yes it's another tense it's like a estaré durmiendo es un, es un futuro continuo estaré durmiendo right i will yeah. be sleeping uh, yeah it's correct yeah yeah, okay, if you say I, I will be asleep, it is correct. Yeah, but it's better to say I go to sleep, right? Yeah, in simple present because okay. future continues yeah. is another um, a topic, not not right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Thanks. now uh, what we're gonna do is like we're gonna we're gonna create two groups and we're gonna fill out. Let, let me give you some questions. We need to create some questions um uh before we and then we're gonna ask everybody like for, let me see if i can show you here okay so we're gonna create group a and the group a is gonna have this this is for the group a look uh, yes it says a student a it says complete the questions below with the questions in the word box. So you have like what, when, where, why, who, which, what kind, what time, how much, how many, how often, and what. So these are the WH question. Remember WH question. So a uh, group A have to complete these questions, right? Tienen que, el grupo A va a tener que completar estas preguntas, solo las preguntas. La respuesta va a ser del grupo B. Entonces, el grupo A solo van a completar estas preguntas con los que aparecen, el WS questions que aparecen arriba, right? And then we go with uh, group B. Group B, 
va a ser algo similar. One, one, one time, how many happen, right? Las ocho van a ser diferentes. Las versiones inicial son igual, pero el resto son diferentes, right? So you need to complete. Solo completar las preguntas, no las respuestas, porque las respuestas, la vamos, el grupo B va a completar las respuestas del grupo A. Y viceversa, el grupo A va a completar las la respuestas con el grupo B. Right. So I'm going to send you this to the group, to the WhatsApp group, so then you can check A or B. But uh, let me see. Uh, we're going to make two groups right now, letter A and letter B. So uh, we need to... Uh, we need to select two. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um, we need to select two members. Who is the most famous one in Iron Man? Who is the most famous? Who is the most famous in Iron Man? Mm -hmm. Famous. Misael. Famous. Who is the most famous in Misael. Iron Man? Misael. Misael. Yeah. Misael. Okay. Misael. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, Misael is the, is the more famous. Okay, so we have Misael. Who is the second second famous at Iron Man? Walter. Misael. No, no. Misael. We, we have Misael. Who is famous too in Iron Man besides Misael? Another one? Uh-huh. Walter. Walter? Walter. <laughs> okay, all yeah. right. So we're gonna have. Okay. El niño también. Okay. Ruth. Ruth. Famous. Okay. Okay. So let me see. Uh, let me select. Okay. Let, let's say. Okay. Uh, Misael is the most famous, and Ruth. You said. Okay. So we have Misael and Ruth. So, Misael, we are right now in the group. Let me see. Uh, we are. 14, so we need to select six and six. Uh, no, no, let me, yeah, six and six. So you need to select five members for your group. Misael, Misael, you need to select five members, and Ruth, you need to select five members. Let's begin with uh, Ruth. Select one member. Who would you like to work with you? Liliana. Liliana, okay, Liliana. You go with Ruth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Misael? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. No, you need to select. Give me the name. Liliana, it's taken by Ruth. Okay, Misael? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, Walter. Walter, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Walter, you belong to Misael. Walter. Alexander. Ruth, Alexander. Alexander. Okay. Okay. okay, Alexander, you go with Ruth. Misael, select another one. <laughs> Misael, another one. You need to select five. Misael? Claudia. Claudia. Claudia, you belong to Misael. Okay, Ruth, another one. Harrison. Harrison, you belong to Ruth. Okay, Misael, another one. Caesar. Caesar, okay. Caesar. Caesar, you belong to Misael. Right? Yeah, you belong to Misael. Okay. Another one. Robert. Robert, okay. Robert, you belong to Ruth. Misael, another one. Al hermoso. For someone else. Al hermoso Samael, you said. Ay, loca. Did you really say hermoso? Okay. Okay. To the handsome one, Samael. Okay. Good. Okay. Misael said that. Misael said hermoso, right? Handsome one. Okay. Okay, okay. Hermoso, usted pertenece a Misael, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, dice. Okay, Ruth, another one. Dennis. Who? Dennis. Dennis. Okay. Dennis with Ruth. Misael, another one. Roberto. No, Roberto is, is taken. Robert is taken. So you have Rafael, Carlos, and Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscarito. Oscar, all right. Ruth? 
Carlos. Carlos, okay, Carlos, you go with Ruth, and Rafael, you go with uh, Misael. Okay, so, so Ruth, you, uh, you well. will be, uh, let me see, Misael, you are letter A, and Ruth, you are letter B. Okay. Oh, okay. All your members will be letter B, and Misael, you, all your members will be letter A. Okay, so let, let me see. Um, I'm sorry, repeat, Misael, B O A. Uh, a. Yeah, A. 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 B. Yes, yeah. Misael is A. So let me see. I need to a. do it manually. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Uh, group A that goes for. Um, that Misael, what, what are your members? So Misael has Walter, Walter, El, eh, El Hermoso, eh, all right? El Hermoso, Oscar, El, el Niño, who? Oscar, el niño, uh -huh. Claudia, eh, Claudia, uh -huh. eh, Oscar, yes, eh, Carlos. No, Carlos goes with Ruth. Con Rafael. No. Sure, yeah. It's hey, what Man. happened? Who else goes with, uh, let me see. Oh, Caesar, right? Caesar goes with Misael. Yes. Okay. How many do you have? Uh, six. It's missing one. I need to give another one because uh, Ruth is going to have. Yeah. Who? Walter. I have. Uh, and of course, right? Uh -huh. El niño, el niño. And, and Misael, uh -huh. okay. Who I hadn't taken you. Who yes. Is niño? El niño. Who is niño? Okay, so we have Caesar. Four, Caesar. Four... Oh. oh, Caesar. Oh. Okay, everybody. Okay. Uh, you need to you need to accept the invitation. So, uh, the letter A, letter A is. Uh, Misael, Caesar, uh, Claudia, Oscar, Samael, Walter, right? Oh, and then uh, group number Roberto. two. Falta Roberto en, en grupo de Misael. El niño, el niño. No, Robert no. goes with Ruth. No. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Ruth group Robin. is Alexander, brother, Carlos, Dennis, Herson, Liliana, <laughs> and Robert, right? They go with Ruth. Okay, here we go. Accept the invitation. And I'm gonna send you to the WhatsApp group the pictures. Okay, you can accept right now. Carlos, Carlos, you need to accept the invitation. Eh, teacher, es que aún estaba haciendo el examen. Okay, okay, no problem. Continue. No problem. Continue. Disculpe, excuse me. Uh, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, don't worry, it's okay. Ruth and your group, can you see the information? Yeah. yeah. Yes, in this moment. Uh, uh, okay. 
you're the, checking. The information. Okay, remember yeah. your, your letter B. So you need to complete the questions in letter B. Let, let's do, for example, let, let's do the number one together, right? So we have here, letter B for, for your group. So you need to complete it. You need to complete it with what, when, where, mm -hmm. why, who, which, what kind, what time, how much is about, you know, how many, like one, two, three, how often and what. Often. So we have, for example, this one. Did you start learning English? When? It's like when, when right? So you need mm -hmm. to write when did you start learning English, right? Yes. Okay. And then you continue with number two, and you need to write down everybody with your group. You need to have the same questions. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, All right. I'm gonna go with it. Okay. okay, partner. The second. Um, Hello? Okay. Uh, Miss Ayala, in your group, can you see the information? Number two. What time? Yes. Okay. So you can see the information. So remember, uh, Miss Ayala, in your group, you are letter A, right? Yes. Letter A. So you need to complete it with what, when, why, who, what kind, what time, how much, how many, how often, and what. Let's do number one together, everybody. So we have here your birthday. So what is it? What is the question? What is your birthday? What, what is your birthday? Your Remember, birthday, birthday is cumple, cumpleaños, right? So you think, what is K? K is where? cumpleaños? Where is donde? Where? 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 Okay, where? listen, How? everybody. Tiene que, tiene que, tiene, okay, no, 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 when? Esa, when? no, me, no me tiene que adivinar. When? Tiene que saber cómo utilizar los WS questions. Eso es lo que hemos estado viendo. Recuerde, el what es qué, el when es cuándo, where es dónde, de ubicación, de alguna location, el why es por qué, who es quién, el which es cuál. Si yo, no, si, no, si yo pregunto no, su cumpleaños, ¿cuál sería? ¿Qué es tu cumpleaños? ¿Dónde es tu cumpleaños? ¿Quién es tu cumpleaños? ¿O, o cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Ajá. Well, es, es, es when, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Correct, right? Yes, and uh, so like that. So you need to use the WS question, right? No podemos decir what is your birthday? ¿Qué es tu cumpleaños? ¿Un cumpleaños? Right? So they know. So you need to complete with the rest. Okay? Go ahead. Everybody, okay. you need to have the same sentences. Okay, you can Bye. go right now. Okay. Thank you. 
Ajá. Sí, como que a tipo, algo así similar. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. no Spanish. Tipo de no comida Spanish. te gusta. Yeah. yeah. When you say what kind is like a, a variety, for example, you can say it, I, I like food, okay, but food, you have a lot what of food. Kind? What kind of food, right? Mm -hmm. What kind, like mm -hmm. Mexican, mm -hmm. Salvadorian, uh, maybe uh, American, uh, Chinese. <laughs> like, for example, you can say, I like music. So the question is, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music? Yeah, I can hear a, 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 a noise. Or so the expression "what kind" is like "qué tipo" "qué class," right? For example, you can say that eh, I like cars. Okay, what kind of cars do you like? What kind of cars? I like Honda. Maybe I like Nissan. I love Mitsubishi. It's my favorite. Okay, so what kind? Did you finish? No, not yet. No. No? No, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ah. Yeah, oh. it's it's what kind or no Spanish. When you said what kind is like like for example, when you have options you can say it. Uh, I like music. Okay, music. But music is general. And then you said, what kind of music? Oh, I like pop. I like rock. And Oscar, I like rancheras. Okay. And uh, Samael is, uh, I like bachata. Romeo Santos. Okay. Uh, or, or, or maybe Caesar, I, I like pop. I like pop. Uh, Justin Bieber, right? One Direction. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Oh, Walter, what kind of music do you like, Walter? And then Walter, I, I like corridos, Tigres del Norte, right? Something. I don't know. Yeah. 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 So the the, the the question, what kind, is like when when you are more specific. For example, I can say, it, what kind of food? Do you like what kind of food? So you can say, I like Chinese food. I like Mexican food. Someone is going to say, I like cars. So what kind of cars? I like Honda, Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi. I don't know. Did you finish? Did you finish? No? No. No. No, teacher. No. All right. So everybody's back. I, I know it's time. So did you finish? Probably yes or probably no, right? Ruth, did you finish with all your group? No? No. Misael, no. The, the famous one, did you finish? No? Okay, so that's going to be no, your teacher. homework. So that will be the homework then, right? So um, okay. tomorrow. Oh, that will be the homework for, for tomorrow. So Misael, you know your people? A, Ruth, you know your people, so tomorrow, for example, letter A, you need to ask letter B, and vice versa, letter B, you need to ask letter A, 
you have different questions, right? So the questions yeah. are different from letter A and letter B. So tomorrow we're gonna ask like more information questions, right? Letter A with versus letter B. Okay. okay. All right. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. I'll see you. Bye. See you. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Have a great evening. Thank you.